Hey everyone, welcome back. Well, I'm out here today again in Williston, North Dakota, but I'm out here with a buddy going and uh, doing some geocaching. And we're down by our first one. It's up by an old abandoned building. So we're gonna get the cameras rolling and go find these caches. So stay tuned. My buddy Tony, looking for the cache over here. Kind of a neat old abandoned building. Probably some old church. All right, Tony and I have been uh, searching out here for pretty close to an hour. Realize that this is rated a level five five, meaning five difficulty, five terrain, and. Uh, we found this little hole in the wall. It goes back a ways and then it makes a sharp left turn. So we're going to head in there and see if we can find this cache. All right, we're getting into this little tunnel. Obviously some animals have lived back here. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at. Can you see that? Oh yeah, I see Tony's light. So, let's try to move forward. Uh, well, at least I know there's no animals in here now. Uh, oh, yeah, I see ya. Nope, guess it's not down here. Ah, that really sucks. Oh, lots of spiders though. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. It's going all over the place. <laughs> well, we didn't find this one, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and head off to some others that I have plugged into the GPS and save this one for another day. So let's go find those others. All right, Tony and I just found our second one that we were looking for today. Just this little micro cache. This little guy here. So. Just use my pen and sign us in. And we'll go on to the next one. All right, let's go. All right, here we are at our third cache for the day. A little camouflaged container. It's mostly to be paper and some nasty gum. Well, definitely not very well taken care of, but a little magnet and a big thumbtack. We probably won't be taking anything out of this one, but we'll sign the log and keep going on to our next ones. Ten feet. It's right around here somewhere. Probably a micro. Alright, so Tony and I are looking for this fourth one. We figured it had to be a micro, and there's this bolt that's kind of out of place, and you just pull it out. And look at there, there's a log inside of this bolt. That is probably one of the most creative caches I have ever found. And I only saw it just because that bolt was a little bit out of place sitting on this post. So that was pretty cool. Let's uh, see if we can grab my Leatherman and take it out of here. I gotta actually just <coughs> drag it out. Let's 
sweet. Another one found by Tony. Ugh, it's Ooh, wet. got kind of wet. What's that? Oh, it's just a little. Uh, this one's. Congratulations! Congratulations! You found it. But it's all soaking wet. That's wet as hell too. No, oh, we won't even. Not even try to sign it. We'll just end up ripping it. Yeah, this one's wet too. They're all wet. Well, we'll leave on the website. You can actually say that it needs uh, Better. maintenance. Yes. Yeah. So, we're on the website. Tell him he needs maintenance on this thing. But at least we found it. Found it. All right. Our next one is going to bring us here by this Boy Scouts of America building. We're about 80 feet from it, so it's going to be over here somewhere. Thirty feet this way. Right there. Right there. There it is. All right, so we're down here looking for the watering hole, and we found this PVC pipe screwed into a tree, and there's something way down inside of there. And Tony figured out to use a stick and push it up. And there is our film canister with the log sheet. So we're going to go and sign this one and once again, go find the others. Alright, we're coming up on our next one. It's called the Tool Cache. And it's in what I'm used to, the ammo cans. So we're going to go and grab that and see what we find inside. Uh. Oh, kind of stuff. A tool cache. Oh, yeah, a bunch of little tools. Just walking up here trying to find another one of our caches. This one is just off of a Frisbee golf course. So we're just kind of down in a goalie. We're 75 feet from it, so we should be finding it pretty soon. So uh, let's see if we can get this thing. All right, GPS brought us in this little stand of trees. There's Tony taking a look around. I'd look down on the ground, Tony, just to see. <coughs> Check out that little log right there. there. Uh -huh. Look at that. Looks like a waterproof match case. Yep. That's exactly what it is. Side hollowed out log. Wow. That's pretty cool. Just a log book inside. Log book and a pencil. Nice. Well guys, that was our day out geocaching in Williston, North Dakota. Got to find quite a few. There were some that were missing, uh, some that needed a lot of maintenance, but it was a good day out. Had a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Go out and live.